Hey, it's Ricardo, and welcome to Freelancer. Yes, folks, I opened up the attic, and I found a load of old PC games and other games uh, to play. And I can get them to work as well. I mean, this is from 1999, so cast your mind back all the way back then. And it kind of bridged the gap from the original Wing Commander series. And, you know, for what we knew of Elite back then on the old 16-bit computers, whether the Atari ST or the Amiga, you know, Elite 2, Elite Frontier and the like it bridged that gap it filled that void of space exploration and that sort of the feeling of open worldness you could choose to be a hero a pirate a merchant or a smuggler and let's talk about the specs i mean hey windows 98 me 2000 xp you needed a 600 megahertz processor well and 900 megabytes of hard drive space with a 3D 16 meg graphics card. Those were the days. Also you needed a CD-ROM. Speakers. But you had the option of online and multiplayer too. This was produced by Digital Anvil Games as well as in conjunction as Microsoft Game Studios. Now getting it to run was a little bit of a fag. It didn't run straight off the bat. But I went onto the forums and the forums pointed me at a no CD patch for the game. Now I bought the game so I have no problem in using this no CD patch. Also there were some really good graphical updates around the asteroids and some of the sharpening stuff. So the community has really sort of followed on with Freelancer and it's good to see because it's a great game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the opening story. I'm going to do a series on Freelancer. Um, not only from the retro aspect but I feel like going back and playing it again. So look out for more videos in the series. If you haven't already done so, click the like and subscribe button and also the notification icon. See you soon and I hope you enjoy it. It was the 23rd century. Mankind's darkest hour. Fighting for so long, no one could remember the reason why it all started in the first place. All we knew is that there were two sides, the Coalition and the Alliance. For decades, millions died for the same piece of rock again and again. Finally, one side managed to gain the upper hand, the Coalition. the Alliance launched five sleeper ships. The hope was for them to begin again far from the war and strife that had befallen Earth, to start free from the prejudices that had divided us for so long. Each sleeper ship was christened after its patron nation. The Britonia, the Rhineland, 
the Hispania, the Kazari, the Liberty. Against all odds, the colony ships broke through the coalition blockade and headed for the Sirius system. That was 800 years ago, when we came here to rebuild our lives. We've come a long way since then. We have grown, we have prospered, we have flourished. But we will never forget.